If you want to learn how to sculpt some faces for a while, then today you're in luck because I'm going to teach you how to sculpt a stylus face inside of Blender. Let's go. I usually prefer to start off with just a subdivided sphere like this. Then I can just go to sculpt mode and just get started. Okay, I'm going to put on my X mirror. Uh, just make sure it's working. So front and yeah, okay. So all you have to do to start work making the face is just go with the jaw. I'm going to drag this down. And then once you drag that down, you can drag like the back of the jaw down as well. So like that. So create like this kind of shape, but then we need to bring in the sides like this, so that. And then we can probably bring this up a bit to have it for like the, the back of the skull. Uh, maybe it's a bit too long. Yeah, that looks fine. And then bring this up. Just get like a general shape. Okay. Then I'm going to change to my scrape brush and then just flatten the sides out a bit more. Okay. And then I usually also like like scrape it as well like this and then there will like flatten out the sides you can also bring in the base a bit more like that let me check what it looks like on the top for you this is kind of what you want so the face is like more of this kind of shape it's not like a just complete oval from the top okay and then what i'd usually would do is i'll go shift c and then get my crease brush and then crease the middle of the face so let me actually re apologize this first. Uh, set like here and then crease the middle of the face. So it's going to be like where the eyes would sit. All right. So I'm going to drag this back, smooth the forehead, and then like bring this up and forward. It's going to be like what the nose sits on top of. Okay. Actually, I'm on a different mat matcap. I think I like this one. Okay. So this looks okay. So maybe bring the cheekbones out a bit like this. And then round out the top of the head a bit and then drag this back in a bit. Make it not too stylized. Round out the front of the face. Okay. So there. So we have like the jaw, the, the, the cheekbones. And then let's add in a nose. So I'm just going to add it in with a cube. Subdivide it. So there's control 2 to subdivide. And then go to edit mode. And then drag it up. Okay. And then... We can just go select everything and then so A, Shift, E to crease it like that. And you can just drag it down there. Okay. And then we're going to make like a space to kind of like get it to work. So I'm just going to add a little bit of stuff here and then crease this a bit more for the R's. The like the whole forehead is a bit short, I think. I'm just gonna make this bigger there and then kind of get this to look more human-like. <laughs> so there, so you should go like here. So it definitely helps to have some more reference on your side. So let me actually pull the, my reference up. Okay, so it's just like some simple faces and uh, it can just be some helpful sometimes. So I'm just going to drag the jaw up a bit, drag it in a bit as well. Okay, that helps quite a bit, actually. Um, and then maybe the face needs to be a bit further up. And the crease brush, let's build this up. And then the front of the face will usually be like there. And then I want the nose to be a bit longer, be a bit thinner. Okay, so here. And then this needs to be a bit more angle, I think. Add a bit more detail at the crease. Well, not the crease, the remesh. So here, set it up for the R's and joining the nose. So let's just go apply. So control A, visual geometry to mesh. And then also go to the right panel. You can see the scale's weird. So control A, scale. And then control J, select them both, control J to join. Go back to sculpt mode and then control R. Okay, you can see we have this green stuff. This is the face set. So I'm just going to face it, face it from visible. I'll get rid of it uh, there. So we can drag the nose up a bit and then drag it out as well. Okay, so there, and then you can control R. Just kind of like join these all together. Smooth it there, like here. So usually these will kind of like go further into the cheek. So the cheek would kind of like curve 
in and then usually like the cheekbone usually be a bit like in there and then go like further out on the side nose is very pointy so it's like flatten it out a bit and then here maybe bring the front of the forehead forward maybe drag the whole jaw down a bit okay you can check it in side view let's go just crease underneath for like where the jaw would be okay and then here let's crease here and then go add like a bit for the the jaw it like points out and then also get rid of a bit for here get like a bit of a dip for where the jaw is i think this is actually a bit too long okay yeah i think this is looking pretty good so let's add in a bit more detail and get the eyes in now so let's go shift a uv spheres and then bring these in here these are a bit gonna be stylized so maybe get a bit bigger like that than what they actually should be on a realistic one actually quite a bit bigger but yeah so here so you have a bit of a gap there that looks okay and then we can actually make it a bit further back i think and then just carve in the front more to make space for it and then we can go shift a, uh, add a mirror and set the mirror object to be the face maybe drag these out and drag them up a bit if you want you can also add some like custom colors to them so i'll just go material new and then plus uh, new material and then set the front you can just press c for the selection mode and then just select like the front part like this and then just go apply to the second material and then just set the viewport display to be black okay like that and then maybe you have to bring these out and rotate them slightly okay and then we need a bit more resolution maybe if it's make these a bit smaller Okay, we need a bit more resolution to work on the R's. So here, let's go add the crease. And then start building up on the R's. Same thing underneath. So usually there's more like a pouch. Sort of like a pouch if you like sleep properly. <laughs> but yeah, there. So we can go there. Let's smooth that out a bit. And then the edge of the R, like this, will be sharp. So if we crease and then just hold control sharper and like stands out a bit from the R so it's like a bit of a, a lip around it then I'm gonna go crease this a bit and then there and then on top is control to crease there drag that in it looks a bit angry so maybe bring that up okay let's work a bit on this nose crease this part here bring it in Maybe make it a bit thinner at the top as well. And it goes so carve in underneath with the crease brush. Or any other brush doesn't really matter that much. Okay. And then how the nose usually works is like halfway through it. It kind of like creases like this. And then like the front will go like there. And then just take the smooth and then just take the strength down a bit. Okay. So here there and then go to the bottom so it usually would work like this it's better let's add in some lips lips are always very hard and very easy to mix up or mess up not mix up um so excuse me if i make uh, some bad lips but usually you just bump it out a bit and then start carving in so let's use like the crease or draw sharp and then like here so we can just go here maybe drag up the strength a bit so we can carve in a bit more so here, start going in, there, bring that in. And remember, this is going around the teeth. So kind of like, imagine you have like this kind of, the, the teeth kind of like going around like that. And the teeth, are, the mouth like wrapping around it. Um, and of course you have like fat pads and so on inside your mouth and whatever. But it's kind of like the general shape of it. And it can kind of like crease on top. So there, kind of want the mouth to come out a bit more. It's just because the nose, where the nose is positioned. You have to make that a bit higher. You can control to uh, crease it there. 
if you use on the brush and then crease this in and then like half the corners okay and then i think these need to like be smoothed out a bit not as much of a point before there okay but there that looks fine needs to just this the lips aren't as flat as this so it needs to like round out a bit maybe smooth out this top lip we also bring it back a bit not all lips look like they do on social media yep but there it's kind of like a crease in the middle uh, in the mouth and then you can just like smooth it out okay and then you can also like work with like cheekbones so like here and be like slightly creased so like slightly removed um there and then like the cheekbones like the main part of it is down here goes there and then you can just scrape that out or we'll smooth it out and then with the eyes usually you would have like so your your like the scale shape would go like this and then you would have like a fat pad over here and then you would have like a negative or maybe like another slight fat pad and then you can kind of like crease over here and then what also helps quite a bit is well firstly i think these eyes might be a bit too wide let's bring them in i'm gonna make it look sad now let's change the shape of the eye again um what is very useful is if you go and add in the eyelashes and the eyebrows so how you do that is we just go so let's smooth quickly see how it looks go shift a add in a plane and then it's basically the same as read topology so just go shrink wrap so go r x 90 scale it down make it like up here drag it forward and then just go select this to be the face and then just start change this to be face project and i guess can turn the snapping on so here we just kind of create the eyebrow shape so here okay and then drag it down and then you can subdivide it, just control one, and then change just to be outside surface, maybe drag it up a bit, you can also solidify, make it thicker, and then this corner I'm just gonna go shift E or go to here, vertex crease. And you could probably also make them a bit thinner, more squarish there, and make them like drag into each other. But yeah, so you can create kind of like a general shape for it and then just go add a color for them. So let's go add a viewport display, give it like a brown or something. And then same thing for the R's. I'm going to turn off shade smooth. Uh, just duplicate the, the eyebrow or you can add a mirror. Mirror and set it to be the face. Okay. So these eyebrows look weird, but too bad. Then we just duplicate this P by selection to make it its own object. And then we just go here and create the shape of the eyebrow. I'd usually not do it with like a uh, shrink wrap. I'll just do it like the whole thing and then just like move it up. But it works for now. Okay, there. It's a little bit dark. So you could just change the color depending on especially what character you're making. Um, it's also like the mat cap that I have. So if you work with like the default mat cap, it's not as bad. Um, and then you can also like drag this up slightly, turn the snapping off. Um, so here, you can just go like apply the shrink wrap. And then just like, okay. And then also make this little far a bit thinner. like that so it just makes something simple and it can kind of just help like visualize what we're actually creating um okay i think i want to make this shorter make it look a bit more like cheerful and bring this nose up and then we could probably work on the nose a bit like this needs to come down let me put my matte cap back on and then this needs to be smoothed out like here and there but yeah, uh, I think it might be too short. Maybe make the nose a bit short, uh, longer. 
And yeah, so you've created your first stylized face in Blender. If you found this interesting, click on this video over here. Cheers.